A 21-gun salute in honor of Joe Hardy. The 84 Lumber and Nemecolon founder was laid to rest today following his death this past Saturday on his 100th birthday. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Marcy Cipriani was there at the funeral service and is here now with more. The service from Joe Hardy here at Westminster Presbyterian was designed, according to the pastor, by Joe Hardy himself years ago, from the music to the flowers to the time of the service, so that this was not about mourning Joe Hardy, but about celebrating him. Joe Hardy willed himself to live to 100 years old. He willed his business to flourish, to employ people, he lived with grit and determination. And Hardy lived a life of service as a philanthropist, entrepreneur, commissioner, and veteran. He served in the United States Army Air Corps during World War II. We are here to render Joseph A. Hardy the proper honors and salute for the service given to these United States of America. Joe Hardy is buried at Nemecolon. He is survived by eight children, including Maggie Hardy, who is now the CEO of 84 Lumber, 15 grandchildren, and three stepsons. At Westminster Presbyterian in Upper St. Clair, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Marcy, thank you. And as so many people in attendance remember Joe Hardy today, many other people are remembering him online. If you have a memory to share of Joe you want to share with us right now, just head over to our WTAE Facebook page.